time to start thinking about the Derby. And are you planning on taking a trip up to Louisville for the Derby or the Kentucky Derby Festival? Which, a lot going yeah, on. Yeah, which is already uh, kicking off. You should make sure that you check out the great uh, Kentucky Proud products while you go up there. Melanie Blandford with the Kentucky Department of Agriculture is here to tell us what to be looking for. It's good to see you. Nice to see you all. But a great opportunity to introduce visitors to Kentucky to these products as well. Absolutely, yeah. The Derby Festival will kick off with a there off luncheon on April 21st and the Commissioner of Agriculture Ryan Quarles will um, just talk about the importance of Kentucky Proud to Kentucky's economy. He'll also highlight some of the amazing farm fresh foods that we'll have on the menu and feature. We also are the title sponsor of the Wine Fest which is on May 2nd and 3rd. It's at the Belvedere at Waterfront Park and just an awesome opportunity for folks to come out sample some Kentucky wines. We've got about 13 different Kentucky wineries there. There'll be Kentucky Proud food, cooking demonstrations every half an hour or so. So really great way to start the festivities for the Derby. And uh, a lot of our crops are being planted right now, of course, but this time of year, even in spring, uh, there are lots of products that are available uh, right now. What are some things that uh, folks can be searching out right now? There are. There's a lot of uh, the cool season crops, so spring um, uh, greens and lettuces as well as radishes will start to come on. Uh, broccoli, even bedding plants, so if folks want to plant their own Kentucky Proud garden to get the season started, they can they can do that as well. And the Kentucky Proud system has really given a boost to our local farmers. It has, yeah, and Kentucky Proud encompasses everything, even our um, world famous uh, equine horse industry and so um, horses. A lot more that, than what people would normally uh, not, think. Uh, yeah, a lot yeah. more than what people would normally think. So horses that are bred or born in Kentucky will carry the designation of Kentucky Proud in the racing program so people can pick a winner uh, with Kentucky Proud for the Derby. So. Well, one of the fun things, and I think uh, Commissioner Ryan Quarles has talked about this, is the fact that there are other states that are pretty envious of that Kentucky Proud program but they don't want to just copy it. So, so they ask a lot of questions about how well it works here, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I mean, you can find Kentucky Proud in so many different um, arenas, retail, restaurants, um, with the Derby, you know, we'll have, uh, between the Derby and the Oaks, we'll have the opportunity to expose about a quarter of a million people yeah. to uh, some of the best foods that Kentucky has to offer. And so uh, Louisville is becoming known as this uh, vibrant local food scene across it the really nation. It really has picked that up and, and I, you also see that picking up in Lexington as well. Yeah, in Lexington and even some of the um, smaller DMAs, you know, the, the Bowling Green area, mm -hmm. um, even west and east. So all across the Commonwealth you can find Kentucky Proud. There are so many products. Where can people find a listing of Kentucky Proud products? They can always go to our website. We also have an app that makes it very easy for people to use. Um, you can search by county, location, the type of product that you're looking for, um, as well as on the website. You can you can find all those products all right. there. Well, thanks, very good. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And